In Clearwater, Alligator Creek flooded during the heavy rain last night, and soon the water surrounded an apartment complex off Drew Street. And we were there as first responders pulled more than 550 people to safety. Fox 13's Genevieve Curtis spoke with some of them who lost their homes in this flooding. Yeah, this was just an enormous rescue effort to get more than 500 people out of this apartment complex. You can see where first responders went car to car and door to door, clearing all of those with that orange X, meaning they were able to establish that nobody was inside. Tonight, there is a pump working to get the remaining water out of this apartment complex. In total, officers were able to get more than 400 adults and 116 kids out of here but sadly tonight they are all without a home. It will flood a little bit but you can still see the grass and you can still see the pier. It might go, you know, it might get like a little bit up but it's never done this before. A flood like never before. Some waded through the water carrying their pets. Others rescued by boat. Some saved in the nick of time as the water rose to their necks. Clearwater first responders say 911 calls for help started coming in overnight. But as we told you last night, because of the high winds from Milton, they had to pull first responders off the road. At dawn, dozens of first responders descended on the apartment complex, where rain caused Alligator Creek to overflow. They pulled people to safety, some waiting on the second floor for rescue. This complex is in evacuation zone D, which is why a lot of residents were home for the hurricane, only to be shaken awake by the unexpected water. It's biblical. It really is. It's 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 beyond it's beyond putting any kind of words. There's no words you can really put on this because it's it's something that I never thought in a million years would this would happen in a, in, a, in a zone that that we're zo we're zoned for. And first responders telling us thankfully no serious injuries from anyone at this apartment complex. Many of them now in shelters for hurricane evacuees. Reporting in Clearwater, Genevieve Curtis, Fox 13 News.